Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Kamina here and today I'm bringing you the latest thing to reset from around the division. So stay tuned to find out what's out there this week and what I recommend in purchasing. So let's crack on with the video. Okay, starting over in the base of operations in the gear vent of this week, there is a prototype performance mod here with 5% pulse duration. So if you do run the pulse and you want it to run that little bit longer, then there's a mod here that you can pick up to help with that. In the Dark Zone gear vendor in the base of operations this week, there is a nice uh, specialised backpack here if you would like to run this, especially on a skill build. Um, so specialised gives you 200% of your fire and stamina and converts that into skill power. It's already rolled on electronics at 1,200. It comes with 6% skill haste and then 14% uh, bleed resistance. But that bleed resistance here, you could look to change over to ammo capacity if you wished. In the advanced weaponry vent in the base of operations this week, there is an MP5 ST here, although it's not got the best in terms of talent. It's got competent on here, which is a great talent, but it would always be something you would want to have as your free talent due to the high electronics requirement. And it has got accurate and brutal on there. Um, but, you know, if you were probably looking towards in terms of an alpha bridge build, then maybe this could be something that you could use. Um, also as well, there is an extended magazine here with 110.5% magazine size, 4.5% reload speed and 4.9% rate of fire. Also as well, there is a CQBSS scope. Now, it does come with 11.5% stability, which is not something that you'd want on a scope and probably headshot damage, but it has got 4% critical hit damage and 2.5% critical hit chance. Don't worry. Okay, in the special equipment vendor in the terminal this week, there are actually not a few bad uh, pieces of items in here. First of all, you have the Police 2821. Uh, it's got a base damage of 18.9k based on 5,065 firearms and 35% critical hit damage. It is rolled with Fierce, which does unfortunately require the high electronics requirement to use. But it does come with Vicious and then Skilled. With Skilled, Headshot Kills with this weapon increases the signature skill resource. Uh, also as well, you've got a custom P416G3. Uh, 18% enemy armor damage, so it is quite low compared to the other assault rifles that we have had out. Again, this one has Ferocious on it, which does require that high electronics requirement. It does come with Unforgiving and then Fierce. Also as well, looking at uh, some of the pieces uh, that we have on here, there is a tactical vest, Robust Talent. So the Robust increases armor while in cover by 10%. It's rolled a little bit lower, 11 to 8 on stamina, but it comes with 7% protection from elites, 4% health on kill, and 47% ammo capacity. There is a very nice Alpha Bridge chest piece as well. It's rolled at 1240 on stamina. It's got 4% health on kill, 1135 armor, and 49% ammo capacity. So it's a very nice chest piece in terms of Alpha Bridge uh, this week. You also, as well, got the Frontline Vest again. 1197 on stamina, but it has got 6607 on health, 5% health on kill, and 49% ammo capacity. And if you haven't used this build yet, it is a great, great build, fun to use for PvE. In the special blueprints vendor this week, there is a few to mention. There is a 256 MG5 blueprint here, so if you're looking for the MG5, then the blueprint is uh, great to pick up, and you can roll this as many times as you require just to find that god roll. Uh, there also is the mod this week that is in here is the uh, performance uh, gear mods blueprint uh, which is power level 35 so if you haven't picked up that already this week then that's here for you. Over in uh, Dante's Run safe house this week there is a gold gunslinger holster here so high end one with steadfast on it which basically means the health regeneration kicks in twice as fast while in cover. Looking at the rolls here, 1257 on firearms, 1190 on stamina, and 1246 on electronics. So it's not a bad roll, especially if you're looking to make that high end gold build. It does come with his major attribute, though, on here as skill haste. Over in the cabin safe room this week, there is a forceful chest piece here, which increases armor by 15%. 
when the signature skill is active it has got four percent health on kill and 1095 on armor and it does come with 40 percent ammo capacity as minor attribute it is rolled at 1186 on stamina um, but it's not a, a great chest piece but if you are looking for something in terms of making a high-end build then this might not be a bad starting point for you also as well for your sticky bomb players out there there is a prototype performance mod here with four percent sticky bomb damage over in the ward safe house uh, this week there is a prototype performance mod here with five percent pulse duration so this is a very nice uh, performance mod here for the ones who run pulse so i definitely recommend coming and picking that up for that extra five percent duration that you're going to get uh, on your pulse over in the Southpaw uh, safe house this week, there is a prototype electronics mod here. It is rolled on the low side at 248 in terms of the electronic requirements, but not too bad in terms of the armor that it gives you at 254. So for any of your skill-based players out there, um, then and you're looking for something with armor rolled on it and you haven't managed to get one yet, then I definitely recommend coming and checking this one out here. Over in East 53rd Street uh, this week in the DZ6 vendor, there is a tactical pack here with inventive on it, which basically increases the skill power by 15% while at full health. It has got 1252 stamina on it. Its major attribute is 13% signature ability resource gain, but it has a minor attribute on here of 52% ammo capacity. Okay, over in the DT6 safe house this week, which is the church, there is a, a very nice pair of frontline knee pads. Now, the, like I mentioned earlier, the frontline is a great build to use for PV and great fun. This one is rolled on stamina at 1121, so a little on the low side, but it does come with 4% protection from elites. That 51% increased kill XP, which is always great because you want to try and get those field proficiency caches as quickly as you can. It's got 10.5% enemy ammo damage and then 30 percent blind death resistance so if you do run with that frontline build more for your pv then i definitely recommend coming and picking that up this week from here over in west 53rd street which is the d6 d c6 vendor there is a prototype performance mod here a five percent pulse duration so again like in the safe safe house i pointed out to you but if you don't have the normal credits to get it and a few dz funds to spend then you've got that pulse duration of five percent here from the performance mod that you can pick up Stop wasting over in West 46th Street, which is the DZ5 vendor, this week we've got a, a nice looking robust uh, chest piece here, which does come with a 1272 on firearms, which I'd recommend rolling onto stamina. But it's got 9.5% exotic damage resilience, 1209 armor, and it's minor attribute at 55% ammo capacity. Also as well, there is an electronics uh, prototype mod here. It is rolled on the low side at 237 electronics and a decent low, uh, a fairly low amount, 244 in armor. But if you are looking for something just to get you by at the moment for your skill builds, uh, then you can pick up that electronics mod from here as well. Over in West 42nd Street, which is your DZ3 vendor this week, there is a very nice tactical ACR here. It's got 21% enemy armor damage, so it's also a almost at the cap in terms of the enemy armor damage based on 5065 firearms it's got 17.2k damage it does come with responsive deadly and competent as its free talent so these are definitely great talents to have on this gun here and if you are looking for a decent assault rifle and not managed to pick up any of the previous ones then i definitely recommend coming and picking this up here uh, this week also as well there is a prototype performance mod here of five percent ballistic shield damage resilience so if you don't run with that uh, frontline build then there's a great mod here that you can use to com complement that build you might regret not okay, over in west 34th street which is your dz2 vendor uh, this week there is a specialized backpack here a quite a fairly decent one uh, rolls on 1218 in stamina it comes with 13,308 skill power already rolled on it and 58% ammo capacity so a very very nice looking uh, specialized backpack here this week if you're looking to collect one also as well there is a prototype performance mod which does come with 6.5% seeker mine explosion radius
Okay, over in your DZ vendor, which is in DZ01 South, which is on 5th Avenue, there is a very nice high military SA-58 assault rifle here. It comes with 53% enemy armor damage. It comes with vicious, unforgiving, and destructive as its talents, and its base damage is 23.6k. So a very, very high assault rifle here this week. So if you are looking to pick one up, then this is a great one in terms of damage that I would recommend okay agents that's it from me this week in terms of the vendor reset so there's a few nice things floating around that you can pick up this week um thanks for watching if you did enjoy this video be sure to drop it a like if you didn't then give it a thumbs down uh, if there's anything else that you've picked up around the dark zone that you think be great then just leave a comment below for other people to see and again agents thanks for watching i'll see you next week and happy holidays everyone take care